Father, we want to thank you once again for your goodness, your kindness, and love that never fails. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness towards us. We are alive and are working unto this day because your spirit has given us life. We thank you once again for this great opportunity to see the light of a brand new day, to be part of the living, not of the dead. May our life once again this day count for you. May we stream towards the place of your desired counsels and intention. May our hearts, may our soul, our minds, and all the rest of our faculty this morning journey to us the place of your good pleasure. We present our lives to you this morning. We offer ourselves to you. We declare this morning that Christ is King over our lives. He reigns over our minds, over our thoughts. We present ourselves to you this morning as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, for it is our reasonable service. We appreciate your love once again, Father. Thank you for the ministry of your Spirit in our lives. Indeed, without the Holy Spirit, we can barely do nothing. So we thank you once again for giving us your Spirit to lead us, to guide us, to teach us. Thank you once again that we have been awakened, yes, unto righteousness. Honor and praise be unto you, Lamb of God. Glory and adoration be ascribed unto you. We lift our voice as we raise our hands unto you in proclamation and in adoration this morning. That you reign, not just in our lives, not just in our home, but across the entire realms that we represent. Honor and praise be unto you. <clears throat> we thank you this morning that you will lead us once again to stand in the gap as we begin to consider, as we continue to consider your intentions and counsel for this nation of South Africa and of course the rest of the world. We thank you. We honor you. We know that we are in, in a day, we are in a state, oh God, where we have to understand what your spirit is saying, how you are leading and directing us. So we don't move, yes, in the wrong way. We don't walk in the wrong step. We thank you once again. We bless your name. This morning, Lord, as we continue to pray and declare that your kingdom come. Yes, Father, we see, we will see, we will see, we will have, oh God, yes, the fruits of this manifestation of your kingdom in our lives as individuals and of course in the community we thank you once again we praise your holy name we glorify you touch us oh god touch us renew us reform us transform us oh god corporately bring us to the place of your good intention we offer our entire community unto you we lay down before you and we present this nation before you we declare in the name of jesus christ you are crowned king over this land you are crowned king over this realm we declare this morning that your kingdom come, that your will is done. As it is done in heaven, we proclaim, we declare this morning, it is done on earth. Have your way. Be exalted, be glorified. This morning we declare, oh God, that your truth once again will convince and convict our heart. We will move toward the place, yes, of doing that which you have spoken, that which you have written that which you have given unto us as the pattern, as the pathway, as the standard, O oh God. We declare this morning, Christ, come, be formed in us. Be formed in us as a people. Be formed in us as a family. Be formed in us, Christ, as a nation. We lift up this land before you. We raise our voice and we proclaim, have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. In every aspect of this nation, we offer prayer on behalf of this land. We offer prayer on behalf of this nation. We offer prayer on behalf of this strategic nation. We know, Almighty, that the enemy is fighting for the soul of this nation. But we win because you have positioned watchmen on the wall. So we thank you this morning that we take our place as watchmen giving clarity and direction speaking yes in accordance to your prophetic intentions oh god bringing forth your counsel and establishing your will yes father we thank you that we are priest oh god we are priest we are inquiring of you the laws of your will of your ways of your counsel we are inquiring of you this morning and we ask you teach us speak to us show us guide us bring us to the place yes father 
where the things that we say are those that will shape and manifest the nature and the reality of your kingdom. Well, we pray, may your kingdom come. May your kingdom come. May your will be done, O God, as it is done in heaven this morning. Have your way, King of glory. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the things that you're doing. Thank you once again. We raise a standard. We raise a standard on behalf of this land. We raise a standard on behalf of this nation. We raise a standard this morning. We proclaim, may your name be exalted. May your kingdom come. May you be exalted. May your glory, once again, fill this firmament. Fill this atmosphere. Fill this land, O God. May this land, once again, be a place of pasture. A place where men, O God, will feed on righteousness. A place where men, O God, will feed on truth. A place where the river of your cancer will flow, O God. Yes, Father, we see it. It's what we see. What we see is what we declare. We refuse to proclaim the obvious. We declare that which, yes, is yet to be manifest. We call for the things that be not as though they were. We thank you once again, Spirit of the living God, that your name, O God, is being hallowed in this land. That our government, yes, Lord, will hallow your name. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, that those in the end of affairs, yes, will call upon your name. They will do your bidding. Their hearts, O God, will become circumcised this morning. We thank you for you giving us a heart of flesh. You're removing the heart of stone. Thank you for the spirit of circumcision. Thank you, Father, for the spirit of circumcision. Thank you for the will to do your will. Thank you, Father, for the will to do your desire. Thank you, Father, for the will to do your counsel this morning. Oh, hallelujah. <clears throat> we bless you, Lord. We honor you. Christ is formed. Christ is revealed in this nation. Thank you, Lord, that every aspect of this nation is being turned to you. We turn to you this morning and we are safe. We turn to you this morning. We turn away from wickedness. We turn to righteousness. We turn to Christ. We turn to truth. We turn to your desire and your intentions. Yes, we declare in the name of Jesus that you reign over this land. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. We are establishing your mountain in this place. We are establishing, yes, your, your house in this place. Your house is being established. Your temple is being established. Yes, your, your, your dominion is being established. As hearts are connected to you, Father, you will find a place, a home, yes, a house to walk through, Almighty God. We establish your kingdom through this place, oh God. Through our lives, we establish your dominion. We declare that we become the portal to which, Almighty God, your intentions and counsel, yes, flows into this land. Thank you, Lord, that this nation is salvageable. This land is salvageable. We declare this in the name of Jesus. That your name, your glory, your fame, your dominion is established. Upon every household. Upon every man. Upon every woman. Upon every parastatus. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. I, particularly those in the ministerial position. Those who represent, yes, what government is. Father, we thank you. That your kingdom is being established in them this morning. We bless your name. We glorify your name. We take our stand this morning. We take our stand and we proclaim. May your kingdom come over the nation of South Africa. May your name be exalted. May your dominion once again be felt. May heart turn to you. In circumcision, O oh God, may heart turn to you. In truth, may heart turn to you. In love, may heart turn to you, O God. We turn the heart of this nation to you. You say, turn to me and be saved. We turn to you this morning. We call upon your name. We declare you alone. You alone reign over this realm, over this land. You alone are proclaimed king over this land. There is nothing a man can say. There is nothing a, 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 a group can do. There is nothing human system can do we establish your kingdom here we establish your dominion here we establish your lordship here we thank you oh hallelujah praise be to you lamb of god glory and honor be to you king of glory we worship you this morning oh yes we worship you this morning we declare you reign hallelujah hallelujah 
friends, thank you for joining this morning. Thank you, Sister Myrtle, Sister Tina, and any other person out there joining us. We want to bless the Lord once again for another beautiful, glorious day. We are praying, amen, for uh, the nation of South Africa. We are declaring the counsels of God, amen. We are establishing that which we desire to see manifest in this nation. And of course, beyond uh, at the boundaries of this land, we will continue to proclaim and declare that he reigns, amen. Uh, uh, for the past few days, I've been a bit down, but thank God I am up again. Amen. Yes, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me and He has given me the strength to continue to pray. The Lord is good and His mercies endures forever. The last time I, I broadcast, my son said, this must be your, your, you know, your shortest broadcast because I think it was 25 minutes because I couldn't just hold it. My nose was running. I mean, I was feeling feverish, but I thank God that, amen, I am alive again and the kingdom of God will continue you know, to advance. And that is something that I just quickly want to, you know, pass across to us. Let's, let's continue to take care of our body. All right. It's not enough just to take care of our spirit. Amen. It's not enough just to take care of our soul. We also need to take care of our body because the enemy will strike us from all angles. So, Please make sure that, amen, you are in good shape. Make sure that, amen, that you, you know, you, you're taking your supplement. If you need to do that, make sure that, you know, you're in the right state of mind. You are focused, amen. You are not anxious. You are not, you know, defeated in any form or in any way. Keep your heart, amen, in line with God, amen. Do what you need to do. Rest when you need to rest, all right? I know that with people like us, it's very challenging sometimes to really take a rest, you know, because there's just so much. When you wake up in the morning, there's just so much to do. But guess what? We need, amen, to be very, 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 uh, 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 you know, cautious. We need to be careful. We need to understand, amen, the nature of the days that we, because if, I mean, if your, if your body is down and your spirit is up, you still can't do nothing. All right. So we have to make sure that we take care of our body. And that's just something that just came out of me. I, I didn't intend to say that, but it's just something I, I felt the spirit of God wants me to hear, you know, so we need to rest, amen, because God still need our body, amen. He needs our body. Remember, salvation is for the spiritual and body. All right. So God needs our body all right the and the and the spirit needs the body amen your, your spirit your your spirit can only do you know as much if your body is down i mean of uh, was a friday friday i was i was totally down my body was down my nose was running and i can't i couldn't just stop it i couldn't continue all right so but but we, but we thank god i'm alive and well again amen uh, aluta continua the, the battle continues we'll continue to pray we'll continue to in you know, advance advance the intentions of God, will continue to seek the will of God over this land, amen, over this nation. You know, one thing about prayer is prayer... <clears throat> Prayer is like, you know, a blacksmith or a goldsmith, amen, that, 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 you know, that continue to, you know, fan the flame, amen, that shapes the instrument, amen. All right. Prayer is like you're fanning, you're fanning that, you know, you know, that thing they use, you know, where I'm, I'm not sure if you've been to any of this, uh, uh, goldsmith or blacksmiths, you know, uh, uh, uh house you see you see that thing that they use at least i'm talking about you know the traditional one i've seen one before you know you keep pumping that you know a skin like thing and the and the you know you keep pumping air and and, and the cold continue to get you know more hot the more you pump that thing the cold gets hot amen and of course the the hotter the the, the coal amen the fire all right the the, the the easier for the iron amen to be bent amen and to shape the thing all right i i, I just speak that in my spirit amen i just speak that in my spirit you know this is what prayer is prayer is like you just keep finding amen that 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 flame you keep finding it and the enemy wants us to be tired and the you know the 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 lesser you find you you pump that that skin that releases you know a, a air that blows the coal amen the coal dies the coal just gets it just gets weaker and weaker and the more that thing gets weaker amen the stronger the iron the stronger the attitude the stronger amen the flesh you understand friends so we have to continue to you know to fan the flame to find it said daily you must bring fire on the altar that that is to also melt the heart of people amen god must remove the heart of stone amen and give us the heart of flesh god must give our nation amen our people our leaders our government that are out of flesh i was reading scripture this morning you know uh, uh, second timothy 
2 Timothy chapter 3, look at this, verse 1 says, it said, but mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. There will be terrible times. So it's going to happen. Are we in that, that in that terrible times? Are we in that last day? Yes, we are in. The, the days that we're in are terrible days. They are, they are perilous times, all right? It says, people will be lovers of themselves. This is going to be the default character, or the default operational system, amen, of people in the last day. It says, people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, amen, boastful, proud, abusive, amen, disobedient to their parents. So if we see this thing, let's not like, oh, look at, no, we are in the last day. These are things that have been prophesied that will happen in the end of days. But what we need to do, amen, as, as watchmen, as intercessors, amen, is to continue to do what? To flame, to fan our layer. Yes, that coal. So that, amen, the instrument that God needs, amen, to use in shaping, in, 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 in transforming the hearts of men, amen, are available. Yes, yes. We have to continue to pray, continue to declare, amen, that righteousness exalts you, South Africa. What are you doing? You're fanning, amen, that flame. We are declaring that changes taking place in the highest level yes of decision making yes what are we doing we're fanning that flame amen yes we've got to produce we've got to produce amen instrument we have to produce amen the resource for God to use amen in changing if we want to see a change then we have to call upon the name of the Lord we have to tell him we have to declare it amen so never you get tired I think that's a good example amen the enemy wants us to get tired and fold our hands and say all this prayer that I've been praying I've not seen the result no keep praying Amen. There, there will be a result. And that's why I'm sure some people by now will think, okay, we're done with this. No, we're not done with that. We're not done with praying for South Africa. Hallelujah. We're not done. If God can deploy me from a nation and bring me to this nation and say, this is what I want you to do. Amen. That, that, that's something. That means that that is very, very paramount in the heart of God. Amen. If I can leave everything that I've done and represent. Amen. And lift all, leave all that behind and come here and pray. You see, hallelujah. And seek the face of God. Then God is very, 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 if you will, uh, you know, you know, speaking regarding the change that he wants to see. So let's continue. Let's not give up. Let's not be tired. He said, you will call upon the name of the Lord. Give him no rest. Amen. You give yourself also no rest. Continue until righteousness is established. Amen. Let's continue to declare. And I know that as we pray, change, changes, amen, will be taking place. Most of when the changes are taking place, they're always at the back door. You don't see it. Amen. They're always behind the curtains. Amen. But very soon you're going to see manifestation so father once again we thank you all right we bless your name this morning we thank you for men and women out there praying alongside with us people from different part of the world yes our brothers and friends from all over the world from america from europe from asia praying oh god on behalf of this land because we know lord that your your strategic counsel for this nation stands and the the counsels of the enemy is to topple is to frustrate it but we stand in prayer and we declare in the name of jesus that this is a land of righteousness. This is a land of truth. This is a land where justice reign. This is a land where equity reign. This is a land where truth reign. This is a land, yes, where your love reigns. This is a land where, yes, Father, your counsel is exalted. Flesh is brought down. Yes, the spirit is exalted. So we proclaim this morning once again that your glory fills this land. And in that understanding, oh God, we declare in the name of Jesus that creativity, productivity, yes, be comes the order of the day. Lord, we thank you that the change that we are beginning to declare and, and see, Father, will continue to advance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you for truth that is prevailing in every area, in every parastatus, yes, even in ESCOM, in Transnet, and in other dimensions, yes, where, that, that, that government runs in terms of, yes, uh, uh, the enterprise. Yes, Father, we thank you that corruption will not, will not, will not stand. Corruption will not stand and corruption will fall in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, for us, our children in schools. Their heart has been open to you in truth and in righteousness. Uh, they are calling upon you. They are serving you. They are declaring that you reign. We bless you, Lord Jesus, that they will not be ashamed, yes, Lord, to proclaim your glory, to declare your honor, to proclaim
proclaim your majesty. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning. Thank you that you're removing pride and arrogance and ungodliness from our lives, oh God. You're giving us a heart of flesh. You're giving us a heart of truth. You're giving us, giving us a heart of compassion. You're giving us a heart of love and submission. Yes, one to another. We thank you. We bless your name this morning that your truth is prevailing. Hallelujah. Our heart is becoming a good soil to receive the good seed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that we will bear forth fruits, oh God, of righteousness. We are bearing forth fruit of holiness, fruit, yes, of justice and equity, fruit of truth, oh God. We are bearing forth, yes, Lord. We are producing, we are food producers. Lord, we thank you. We honor you. We praise you this morning. Hallelujah. You have been glorified in our lives. Our mind, soul, and body is being healed, restored to you this morning. Thank you this morning. Yes, Lord. The evil will not remain. Ungodliness, wrong mindset, wrong belief, oh God. We cast down. Yes, Lord. We cast down imaginations. We cast down every high thing that exalts themselves above your will and counsel. We declare this morning, you alone would direct. You alone will reign. You alone will guide us. You alone will lead us to the place, oh God, of your own good intention. We hear your voice and we follow. We will not follow the voice of the stranger. We will not follow the stranger's voice. We follow your voice. You lead us. Thank you, Spirit of God, that right now we are seeing changes taking place and these changes are shaping, oh God, yes, our life positively. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to your name. Thank you, Spirit of God, that this change are, are, are transforming our life. We are seeing positive development. Uh, thank you this morning. We will eat the fruit of our lips. Uh, we will eat the fruit of our lips. We declare this morning that your kingdom is reigning in us and through us over this nation. Hallelujah. Righteousness is springing forth to oh God in every area of this land, in every area of this nation within, yes, the, the private sector, oh God, within the government sector, oh God. <clears throat> thank you, Spirit of God, that the businesses, oh God, be wrong in this land are run by righteous people, are run by people, oh God, yes Lord, uh, who have the desire and a, and a hunger for you. Thank you, Spirit of God. Every spirit of wickedness and ungodliness, perversion, iniquity, yes, every spirit, oh God, that wants to enslave, that wants to keep the people in darkness, that wants to keep the people impoverished, uh, we banish you, we reject you, yes, in the name of Jesus. Where, the, where those uh, uh, deals are being sealed right now, we confuse them, Lord, we confuse the counsels of the enemy over this nation in the name of Jesus. We declare in the name of Jesus that the counsel of the enemy over this land will not stand. Over our government will not stand. South Africa will not become yes, a, a, a personal property will not become a private company being sold out. No. We refuse it in the name of Jesus. We declare that this land is not yes, a, a business to be sold out here. Yes, to, to the highest bidder. No. We frustrate the counsels of Aitofer. We frustrate the counsels of the evil one in the name of Jesus. Those in government co colluding with those in private sector to want to sell the assets of this land, we declare you will proceed no further. Those who are allowing wrong values uh, into our society, into our community, uh, drugs, ungodliness, evil, yes, sexual perversion, uh, yes, we declare you have no more, you have no more stay here in the name of Jesus. Uh, human trafficking, you have no place here in the name of Jesus. Jesus, yes, sir. You have no, no more place here in the name of Jesus. Every form of ungodly, shady business, sir, we, we expose you. Father, we pray that you'll give our law enforcing agents, oh God, the power and the authority, oh God, to stand and to do what is right uh, without any favor in the name of Jesus. Sir, we thank you. Righteousness, you said, exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach. We refuse anything that represents the reproach of sin anything and everything that looks like sin we refuse it yes sin of omission sin of commission in the name of jesus we refuse you in the name of jesus perversion iniquity ungodliness we reject you we exalt christ we exalt christ christ we exalt you over this land over this realm over this over this nation yes father we thank you, Father, for your prophetic intentions for this land that stands. We bless your name. We honor you. We glorify your name. Oh, Father, we thank you for changes taking place. We thank you for transformation of minds. Many, many, many right now, their minds are in a state, yes, but we, we believe, you, oh God, that you will touch their mind. 
you will touch their mind you will touch their mind you will remove the, the uncertainty the dysfunctionality yes father we ask that you will heal the mind of this nation you will heal the minds of our people you will heal yes father their their soul in the name of jesus yes the spirit of violence violence comes from somewhere violence comes from somewhere lord we pray oh god that you will speak to the psyche of this land in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we come against the spirit of profanity we come against the spirit of destruction we come against the spirit of perversion we come against the spirit of disrespect yes honor is a powerful value system yes that brings that brings prosperity into a nation we thank you that this land once again particularly our teenagers our youth our millennials uh, will embrace the values of honor oh god that our parents our elders will teach us what honor is they will teach honor honor will be thought in schools in the name of jesus just as we want yes uh, the concept of entrepreneurship to be taught uh, in our schools uh, in the name of jesus yes from 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 the kindergarten level oh god to the tertiary yes uh, 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 level we want oh god yes uh, values that will that will position us oh god as a nation that will that that, that will continue to speak into the leadership of the, of of the nations father we thank you that we are a futuristic people god we are not bound to the past we are moving oh god into the future we are moving into yes lord uh, the future and we begin to see it thank you lord that you're giving us leaders who can define to us what the future is who can begin to define to us where we're going but brick by brick bring building and leading us to the place oh god of your divine intention we thank you hallelujah glory to jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, for what you're doing right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We will eat the fruit of our lips. Yes. You said the things that we speak, the things that we decree shall be established. Lord, we decree it, O oh God. Bring honor back to this land, O oh God. Bring honor. is a value system, O oh God, that builds, that transforms, that empower, that, 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 that seeks, yes, the, the, the prosperity of a people. Father, we thank you, O oh God, that we're a people of honor. Lord, we when honor is thrown away every other thing that is called evil and destruction reigns in the land and so father we thank you because honor speaks to respect it speaks to dignity in the name of Jesus thank you spirit of God for the values of honor for the culture of honor in the name of Jesus help us to learn to honor each other when we honor each other yes it's easy to interact yes it's easy to communicate it's easy to even do business you can do business with people who don't you don't honor yes when we have honor our words becomes yes our value what we say yes becomes what we what we mean as when there is no honor your words means nothing so father we thank you for a change we thank you for a change thank you father for uh, uh, the values of your kingdom that has been established embellished within the hearts of god of men and women in this land we thank you we bless your name we we declare this morning that you oh lord yes father your ways your truth is established you're building us you're building us you're building us you're building us and anything in us that does not look like your intention cast it down bring it down bring it down lord jesus bring it down bring it down the prosperity of a nation begins with the concept of values the prosperity of a people begins with the concept of value value speaks into our dignity self-dignity speaks into how we see ourselves how we see others so we thank you once again this morning that change is taking place within our psyche as a land as a land as a people as a nation thank you spirit of god for quality for value system thank you for yes the spirit of leadership everything and anything that does not speak into shared vision oh god that brings corporate leadership father we pull them down we reject that which is evil we refuse that which is ungodly. We refuse that which is perverted. We refuse that which is not in alignment with your will. We proclaim this morning. We open up the gateway, the doorway of this land. And we say, may your truth come in. Christ come in, not religion. We've had, we, we've had enough of religion. There's so much religion that we see in the name of Christianity. That's not what we want. We are asking Christ to come in. Not religion, <clears throat> not tradition, not churchialism. No, we are asking Christ. When Christ comes, 
truth comes when christ comes yes values come when christ come his dominion and authority comes when christ come his power comes when christ come hallelujah direction vision comes when christ come transformation comes when christ come prosperity comes when christ come entrepreneurship yes belief system becomes the order of the day yes breakthrough in the in the field of science becomes the order of the day when christ comes everything that speaks um, into the advancement and the prosperity of a people yes becomes a reality christ we ask you come lead us when christ comes we have men and women in the aim of affairs who stand for truth who stands for justice who stands for equity yes we have people of integrity when christ comes when christ come when christ come you see christ is translated to something christ is not just about being religious christ is not just about being having preachers on the pulpit no when christ comes yes we know what to do we, we know how to how to transact on behalf of the nation we know how to transact business on behalf of the nation when christ comes we know that we we cannot afford yes to sell our nation we know we cannot afford yes to invite ungodliness we, we cannot afford iniquity to, to you know to, to to you know to, to to overshadow the community when christ comes imagine you have righteous people in their in the aim of affairs from community level yes yes the the counselor on the community he, ha, he, ha, he has the fear of god in his heart just imagine just imagine what what would take place in that community and then you you begin to move to you know the MSCs, yes those who are uh, in, in, in representing the various departments heads of departments you, they, they they are people of righteousness they even they don't have to have to go out and say i'm a christian but they have the fear of god in their heart the bible says the fear of god is the beginning is the beginning of wisdom is the beginning of knowledge the fear of god we just want people to walk in the awareness yes that they subscribe to a king not to a system not to a group not to some you know geopolitical ideology not not to some god knows who wherever they're coming from no no christ is what we subscribe to and guys in babylon showed us that that is doable they say king this this image that you have raised that you want us to bow to sorry we are not going to do it we will serve you we are serving you and you know we have given you the best but this thing that you are doing no we are not gonna we are, even if our god is not gonna turn up to save us sorry our values are so are, are so are so opposite to what you're asking for that's what we want people that will stand for truth people that will say but that's a lie regardless of their political affiliation regardless of you know where they belong where truth is is truth amen they say it's truth where lies lie the say is lie that's how we prosper a nation that's how a nation development develop because you see when we establish truth as a system that drives go government and governance we see healing we see prosperity we see deliverance that's what we want to see. you know this is not about well I, yeah, that person that said it does not belong to our camp so let's let, let let's reject what that person have said no that's not building a nation let's not project amen a party amen yes at the expense of building the nation we want to build that we want to build this nation that's why we're asking that god will give us the spirit amen of nehemiah god will give us the spirit amen of ezra the last time we're talking about that ezra was the first person that was released amen to bring back truth to teach the people you cannot build anything successfully if the people's you know psychology the people's philosophy has not been changed and this is something amen that i believe god amen wants us to do amen before we begin to see amen constructive development in all the various parastasis those people you know man in those parastasis need to be taught what values is what truth is and if you break them they need to be taught that there are consequences i was thinking about that a few days ago and say you know before people take a position of leadership tell them what is expected of them and if they break that thing in case you decide to to change and and go off track this values you will be removed you will be changed and in fact you may have to go to prison 
So it tells people, amen, to know that when they're going to the position of representing the people, they don't go there with their own agenda. I was thinking about that. Hallelujah. Yes, that's what we want. We want, you see, when when crimes are committed, amen, and there's no punishment, it tells other people that they can do the same, amen, that they can do the same. And this is, this is a principle in the word of God, yes. When you do something that negates his values, there are punishments, yes, there are judgments. He may not, he may not have to condemn you, but he will let you know that what you have done, the first thing, of course, you lose the peace of God. Every time we, do, we commit sin and you suddenly realize that you've, you, you don't have the sense of the peace of God, that's judgment. That's judgment. Yeah, that's judgment. You don't have the peace of God because the peace of God is not cheap. The peace of God earlier is a value. It's one of the character of God. So when you fall into sin and you're doing your own thing, the first thing that God does, he withdraws it. He removes himself from that thing. That itself, as I, I, I said, amen, is judgment. When you lose the peace of God, you lose the joy of God. Yes. Next time you will know that before you do something, you have to think twice because you don't want to lose. You know, you know how it is to, not to have the peace of God in your life, not to have the joy of the Lord. The Bible said the joy of the Lord is your strength. Imagine you want to fight the enemy and you have no strength. You have no strength. So we have to think about these things. We have to let the people know that there is consequence. Amen. Don't just let them do their own thing and get away. No, no. We cannot build where, where there are no standards. We cannot build when there are no values. So we are praying God. Yes. They say, well, South Africa has got one of the best constitution. But for all I've seen in the manifestation of this constitution is the weakest. Is weak. Because this constitution cannot bite this constitution, yes, cannot bite. Can it, we, we're not seeing? We're not seeing the might of the law. A few days ago, many of the people who were who looted this country, they were being interviewed on SABC and a few other channels, and none of them admit that, that what they have done, all right, is wrong. And I'm saying to myself, wow. After stealing so much money, you're given the opportunity, amen, to make right. And still, they still say, no, I, I, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. No, we cannot build that way. You know why people are doing that? Because they feel that there is so much resource. So what I'm thinking is nothing. But we're saying, no, that is wasted. That is, that is ungodly. Hallelujah. We cannot waste the resource of this land. We want a man to invest the resources of this land and we want to block every door, hallelujah, that will cause people to just come and loot and take that which does not belong to them. We say no in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for change that is taking place right now. We thank you for development, transformation that is taking place right now. Thank you, Father, for your righteousness that is reigning. Thank you, Father, for your ways, yes, Lord, that is advancing, your counsel that is, yes, penetrating into the very hearts of men. Because at the end of the day, you, there's no legislation. You cannot legislate issues of sin. Sin has to do with the human heart. You can't, there's no legislation that can curb, that can stop, you know, corruption. Corruption is not just an act, it's a nature. And that's what we've been declaring for years. I've been saying this, the murder, I don't know if you, if you, if you, you know, back in the days when we were in Joburg, I've been saying this. You cannot legislate. There's no legislation that can stop issues of corruption when you look at corruption as an act you've only dealt with the fruits you've not dealt with the roots corruption is of the heart of men you've got to deal with the issues of the heart and we have to have values principles that helps people amen to look deep into their hearts what can we do that can speak into the very construct of the human heart because that is where righteousness flows from. That's where goodness comes from. And that's where destruction comes from. That's where hatred comes from. That's where pride comes from. Amen. That is where, you know, love comes from. That is where, you know, respect and dignity, yes, comes from. We have to. And, and, and of course, this is the work of the church. But you see, the church has been, has been also compromised. The church has been compromised. So it's very difficult for those people God has given the power and the authority to speak truth to power to do their job because they've also been compromised. They've submitted to government because they need money to build, you know, big buildings. Many of these churches, you see them with big, with, with massive building. Many of them were bankrolled by government. 
and they have all been quiet so they can't say anything they can't say anything they can't, they, can't, they can't look at the people in government and say, sorry, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. This is what the law says. They, they have no dossier of the Lord because they, yeah, they are all part of the system. But we are raising a standard, friends. We're raising a standard. We're raising a standard. We're raising a standard. The Lord is rebuilding his house. The Lord is rebuilding the burnt gates, yes, of this land and the broken walls of this realm. Change is coming. Change is taking place. Please, let's continue to pray. Let's continue to declare. Let's continue to affirm it. Let's continue to confess it. We are seeing a chain transformation. We are seeing transformation take place. Don't just look at, at, the, at the destruction at men and women being murdered. Let's continue to declare it. And as we declare, let's proclaim that God will position the right people. Yes, Particularly, you know, the, 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 the issues of police in this nation. The, the minister of police, you know, the, the man they call Becky Seller. I, I, I don't think that man is doing a good job. This man should have been removed long time ago. Because, I mean, uh, uh, we can all see what happened during that lo looting. Nothing was said until a few days later. Even when people were saying this is what is going to happen, he basically dismissed them. I watched one of you know interview where he actually dismissed this uh, uh, this interview, this uh, 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 person that was interviewing him, and see what happened. We want men and women who can preempt, who who have strategy, who have vision, who knows what's coming, and who can hallelujah, yes, prevent it. Watch men in the marketplace. We want watch men in the marketplace. Watchmen in the marketplace, people who have the security of, of, of you know of the of the nation, amen, in their heart. We want to see this nation secure. We want to see, yes, this land secure. Hallelujah. That's what we want. We want those in the end of affairs very soon. You know, the ANC will, are gonna start to contest again for who is gonna be the next uh, uh, leader of the ANC, which of course translates to who's gonna be the the, 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 the person presented to be the leader of the nation but we are believing God that there's going to be a disruption that is the word that we are picking in the spirit in this season we, we must not be disrupted but disruption is coming oh, Father we pray in the name of Jesus that you would do a new thing yes it will spring forth in the name of Jesus, you would do a new thing to spring forth. Yes, Father, you would dumbfound men. Yes, the counsel of the ungodly will not stand. Lord, shake the foundation. Continue to shake the foundation of this land. That truth and righteousness, oh God, may spring forth. That your will and counsel may prevail. Give us leaders, oh God, whose heart is like that of David. Whose hand is like that of David. Skillful hand, yes, and a heart of integrity. Skillful for hands and hearts of integrity that is what we seek for that is what we ask for that is what we desire that is what we pray for that is what we want to oh father and so we say to god we want leaders oh god we want a leader from the top oh god yes to those at the bottom every one of us have got a leadership role yes yes to occupy so we pray father for yes a, a skillful hand train our hands to war in the marketplace train our ends to war yes lord in the various parastatus and institutions that defines yes this nation train our hands to war yes lord over yes the economy yes the finance and economic system of this land train our hands to war yes over the healthcare sector yes the days that we live in are days of battles battles everywhere everything today requires that we are strategically positioned that we wear the mindset of warrior you say what has battle got to do with the healthcare sector well if you don't have the mindset yes to to project you know what is coming and prepare a people yes who 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 have the right you know uh, 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 if you will the the, the 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 right quality and the right capacity to fight pandemic and to fight all kinds of disease listen you're gonna you're gonna be defeated the same mindset we we want yes in the financial institution if we don't have the right strategy yes to fight yes the pressure that is going to be coming from inflation and all of these things that is affecting what is affecting going on in ukraine and in russia is affecting 
us here in South Africa and of course in other parts of Africa, we have to have men and women who are like Joseph, yes, who can mitigate all of these issues, this, you know, uh, economic challenges, who, who, who have a plan. You see, we have to think outside the box. The Lord was speaking to me yesterday about that. We have to speak outside the box. We have to begin to think outside the box. We have to begin to think outside the box. You see, there's a way we all, amen, have been programmed to think uh, that this is the way we handle things. This is, I don't know. In the days we live in demands that we re we reevaluate how we process, amen, you know, our thought pattern so that, you know, we can come up, amen, with a different strategies. And this is what I've been sharing when we talk about uh, 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 the, the concept of being awakened. God is awakening us to new direction, to new insight, amen, to new pattern of thinking. But you see, you have to stop thinking the way you've been thinking. If you continue to think the way you've been thinking, you continue to get the same kind of results. Hallelujah. You continue to get the same kind of result. We have to start thinking outside the box. We have to, we have to, we have to stop thinking amen, conventionally. You see, you see what's going on in Ukraine and in Russia. I'm learning a lot. I can write a whole book on what's going on in Ukraine and in Russia. You know, just looking at the concept of warfare. You see. The Ukrainians were using a different type of warfare and they were winning until the Russians realized we're losing this battle. What do, we, what do we do? They went to get, yes, the drones from the Irans and start using amen, drones. All right? We're, we're wasting, we're wasting, you know, you know, big armories and big, you know, you know, uh, 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 aircrafts, you know. But this, this, these drones, they said they are not, they are not the most expensive. In fact, they are very cheap. But they are destructive, very destructive, and they've been using the drones. They've been using the drones. You've got to, you've, you see, let, take it, take it beyond the battle on the ground. Look at the strategy. That is the battle of strategy. And if the Ukrainians are going to win, they have to find a way, amen, of 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 countering those drones. The Lord is speaking to us. We have to see these things. Because as long as you continue to think the same way, you pray and your prayer point is still under the same direction. It's still on the same way. Listen, you're still going to continue to get the same results. We want a different result. Amen. The days that we have been ushered into is unique. The world is saying it. This is a different world we've been, we've been ushered into. Just after the pandemic, here comes the Ukrainian world that have plunged the whole world amen, into almost a, a, a season of famine. Things are happening on different levels. Amen. You may think, well, it's just happening down there or you're up there. Guess what? It's affecting you too. So you have to also begin to think outside the box. Wisdom comes from the Lord. Knowledge comes from Him. You have to understand the nature of the day. You have to have a different war gear. You have to have a different amen, a, a, a concept of, of existence. Our culture has to be closer to more of that of the kingdom. The kingdom of God must come near us. What that means is the values of our life, amen, must change and must align to that of heaven. Amen. Heaven reflects success. Heaven defines breakthrough. Heaven is, is everything that defines, amen, breakthrough, success, prosperity, deliverance, amen. Yes. When they say the kingdom of God is coming near you, what that means is it's not just rapture. It means they're giving you, amen, a different concept of life. When you look at life, you see things from a different you know, perspective. When you look at people, you see, amen, things from a different perspective. Hallelujah. Yes, this is what it means when they say the kingdom of God is coming near you. I always tell us, listen, kingdom represents system of operation. Kingdom, they say, Jesus said, pray that the kingdom of God come. Kingdom is government. Kingdom is administration. Kingdom is leadership. But you cannot have that if the king is not resident in you. Because you can't have the kingdom of God without Christ, the king, resident in your life. And that's what we are praying for. That the kingdom of God, amen, come into our life. When the kingdom of God come into our life, oh, they said there's a man in your kingdom. 
There's a spirit of a different God. There's a man in your kingdom who does not live in accordance to the values that defines this kingdom. They say, who is he? Say, they say his name is Daniel. They say, go fetch him. Why? Because God brought them to a point and a place where they didn't know what to do. Belshazzar said, go fetch him. He was the only one in the kingdom that could read the handwriting on the wall. Do we have such people in our day? Do we have people in our time that can, and this is where we become relevant church because this battle is going to continue but God will bring them to the place where they no longer have a solution. That's the same thing God did in Egypt. Pharaoh think he's powerful. God continued to raise the bar of the, of the wall until they said this is the finger of God. Friends, let's continue to prepare ourselves. Let's continue to think outside the box. God, teach me how to think. Teach me how to process my life in the direction of this new day. I want to be submerged in the, in the wisdom, in the knowledge of this new day. Baptize me. Yes, Lord, I refuse the old wine skin. I embrace the new wine skin so you can pour into me. And whatever you pour into me can stay. I don't just want to be a conduit. You know, the thing comes and pass. No, I want the thing to stay and impact my life. Change me so that my life can then become an example, a reflection of your kingdom. Yes, in my workplace. A reflection of your kingdom in my school. A reflection of your kingdom in my business. A reflection of your kingdom. Yes, wherever I go, help me to become a manifesto, a revealer of your kingdom grant me sight of God grant me knowledge grant me grace <clears throat> grant me understanding grant me insight friends this is how we are called to pray our prayer must be strategic our prayer amen must be directive our prayer must be insightful hallelujah I said in the last day <clears throat> Say, so mark this. I read that scripture again, then I'll be done this morning. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. He said, But mark this. There will be terrible days in the last days. So we know that terrible times are here. Ter we're living in a terrible time. So don't begin to complain. Oh, things are difficult. Well, it's been prophesied. These are part of the manifestation of the end of days. In the midst of all that, God wants to give us, yes direction and instruction to know how to survive there was famine in the land but not everybody died of the famine before the famine god gave direction to the prophet go to zarafat go to the brook yes we have to be a man people who have clarity who have understanding of the nature of the day yes Hard days, hard time requires people, amen, who have a different concept of thinking. Have you noticed that whenever there is trouble and challenges, those who bring solution are people who are seeing things from a different perspective. They are not submerged in the problem. They are not submerged in the problem. This you are going to understand. Bible says, mark this, in the last day, there will be terrible times. It's going to affect your children's school. It's going to affect your workplace. It's going to affect your community. It's going to affect, amen, uh, where you do business. And this last day is the manifestation that we're going to see globally. It's going to affect everybody. We just passed pandemic. We don't know what next is coming. But guess what? We have to be prepared. So in your prayer, God, prepare me. Give me a different value system. Give me a different war gear. Equip me for this last day where, amen, people will be lovers of themselves. Prepare me for this last day where people will be lovers of money more than lovers of God. Pre prepare me, Lord, for this last day where people will be boastful, people will be proud and abusive. So I've got to be ready, I've got to pre prepare so I don't let somebody abuse me. I don't let somebody, yes, you know, you know, pull me down and cast me down where people will be. You know, projecting their pride, boastful. Why would they be boastful? Because they'll be doing things that will be done found in men. Yes, they'll be giving testimony, and you'll be like, "But what's going on?" Last days, where people will be disobedient. Why? Because the last day is the manifestation. 
is the full blooming of the flesh life. The full blooming of the flesh life. And we don't want that in our nation. We don't want that in our continent. Amen. We don't want that in the world. So everywhere we go, we want to represent, yes, the counter spirit. The counter spirit, the counter value system. You see, all the things that I'm reading now, we've got to build a value system that can counter them. That can counter, amen. Yes, perilous time. Do we have a system that can counter perilous time? We already know that it's coming. We know it's, it's getting close to us. But do we have a system? Perilous time. Where you feel like you want to, you, you, you're losing your mind. You know? You that can rabba shaka, you can, you can pray five hours. Suddenly, you, you, it's, it's like you're living in a delusion. You don't know what's going on with your mind. Yes, battles of the mind. Last the perilous time is coming. It's here. It's going to affect your marriage. It's going to affect your home. It's going to affect your spouse. It's going to affect your children. It's going to affect your finance. When the finance seems to be dropping, what do you do? Do you start screaming? And, or do you begin to look for a different ways of income? Different dimensions of incomes. Different system of what is the spirit? Listen, God never leave us, amen, for destruction. He always find a way out. There's always a way out. There's always a way out. But if we're not seeking for the way, we're just going to die in the famine. We're going to die in the lack. So you see, when you read scripture, you've got to have an understanding. Yes. Okay, this is what the Bible says is going to happen. Help me. Before destruction, God already gave you know, Noah the idea, the values, the principle amen, of how to survive that thing, of how to amen, move away from that thing. God gave him a blueprint. Build an ark. People will be lovers of themselves. So when you see people being selfish, being self-centered, all right, you know that this is a manifestation of the spirit. You don't complain. No, you prepare yourself ahead of it. All right? Both for proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents. Like I said, they don't have honor again. No, we have to teach our children honor. There's nothing like, oh, well, we live in a modern day. Modernism does not, does not eradicate honor. Amen? I want my children to be to be on the cutting edge of, of 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 their skill. I want them, but I also want them to respect each other and to respect the elderly. That's how we show the world, amen, that we are of a different order. You understand, friends? We have to do that. If we don't do that, then we are failed. Don't let, you know, advancement and, you know, technology and all of these devices uh, because your children can operate the device and they can do all of these things and then you think then they've, they've arrived. They've not arrived. That's just one aspect. The real thing that prepares them for the end of days is when character is built from within. Value system is built from within. Love. Amen. Dignity. Hallelujah. Yes. Courage is built. Respect self-respect and respect for others you have to build that in them because we see this is one of the manifestations the scripture put down of what is going to be happening in the last day don't just say well you know this millennials no teach your children our values is from the word of god not from the world system amen the, the bible says the spirit and the flesh are at loggerhead they are, they will never agree so you have to teach them. Amen. Yes. No, be disobedient to their parents. Just imagine that. To their parents. Ungrateful. This is what we're seeing here in South Africa. Ungrateful. Everybody's got a sense of you know entitlement. This is mine. This belongs to me. If, 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 if the government can't provide this for me, if they can't give me this, I take it by force. If I can't take it, I destroy it. No, that's a wrong spirit. Ungrateful. Is this, I'm reading scripture. People will be ungrateful. I taught my children to know how to say thank you. And if they get something, they forget. I call them by, hey, hey, what are you supposed to be saying? Because we can forget, we all do forget. No, we keep reminding ourselves. How do we build a system that will allow the populace, the people to be, amen, grateful? See, that's why we have to change the values. When you build a nation on a lie, you need a lie to continue to sustain it. 
but God is doing a new thing. God is shaking all the wrong foundation, all the wrong valleys. And that's why things seem to be crumbling. No, they're not crumbling. God is rewiring. God is rebuilding this land. This is one of the best days that we're we are living in. Amen. As a nation in South Africa, this is one of the best days because now we know, amen, that what we thought was true is not the truth. This is the time where leaders, pastors, elders should go out there and start to preach the truth. All right. So people now have the opportunity to choose. Now we know that this government that we thought, this group, this uh, you know party that we thought uh, would take us to you know uh, uh, the promised land, do not have what it takes. So we have to raise the bar. We have to raise the standard. If we're going to succeed, if we're going to become key player, no matter all this alliance you see, the brick alliance. Listen to this: when things start falling, the bricks will not be able to hold. We want to build a house of stone, not a house of bricks. Want to build a house of stone, living stone, not a house of bricks. We have to understand if the values that defines the brick amen, community is not speaking to the values of God, that thing is going to collapse. The economy of China, the economy of Russia, the economy of Brazil amen, will not be able to hold that which is coming. We got to understand these things. But let's not fool ourselves. There is only one value system. And this value speaks to every dimension of our existence as a nation, as a people. Hallelujah. We don't want to be ungrateful. We don't want to be unholy. Without love. Unforgiving. Slanderous. Without self-control. Brutal. Not lovers of good. Treacherous. Rash. Conceited. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. These are things we've got to pre prepare to fight. Not physically. Our battle is not flesh and blood. We have to prepare. We have to have the, the right spirit. We have to have agape. We have to have the love of God in our heart to really know how to face these things. Or else, we preaching, praying this thing will be defeated by the same spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Our heart desires to bring your ark back into this land, into this nation. He said, when we seek for the prosperity of the land, we ourselves will prosper. When we seek for the prosperity of the land, we ourselves will prosper. So we thank you this morning. We seek for the prosperity of this nation, South Africa. We seek for the good of this land. We seek for the peace of this land. We seek for the joy of this land. We seek for righteousness in this land. Come. Come, Jesus. We open the gates. We open the door. We ask you to come in. Take your place. Reign. Come, reign. May your kingdom come. Come in your power and glory. Come in your wisdom. Come, Lord. Take your place, first of all, in our lives. And then through our lives, may, yes, your kingdom flow into the nation. And into the nations, oh God. As we pray for South Africa, we thank you, Lord, for, yes, our neighboring uh, our, our countries, oh God. Thank you, Father, for Namibia. Thank you, Father, for, yes, Mozambique. Thank you, Father, for Zimbabwe. Thank you, Father, for Botswana. We thank you, oh yes, Lord, for Eswatini. We thank you, yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, for all these countries, all these nations all around. We thank you, Father, for Lesotho. We bless your name for your spirit that is over and around, yes, this entire Sadek region. And beyond the Sadek, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing across the continent, yes, Father. From, from, from Central Africa, yes, to North Africa, yes, Father, to East Africa, to West Africa, yes, Lord. We honor your name for what you're doing. Your glory, your power, your dominion, your spirit, oh God, yes, flows into this realm like a river. We bless your name. We praise your name as we pray, oh God, for Africa. We thank you for our brethren all across, yes, the world. We thank you for the nation of Israel. We thank you, Father, for the nation of America. We thank you, Father, for Europe. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord, for what you're doing across the islands, the Caribbeans, oh God. We thank you for Bahamas. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing. We praise your name. Thank you for the nation of Haiti. Thank you, Father, for truth that is prevailing. Righteousness, oh God, that is prevailing over that nation. 
we thank you in the name of jesus thank you for what you're doing yes lord in the fire East, thank you father for what you're doing in china yes lord we bless your name for your glory and your kingdom your power your dominion almighty god all across the nations we crown you king we crown you lord thank you for what your spirit is doing yes lord hallelujah thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you righteousness is exalting the nations of the world thank you father for your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns oh god oh hallelujah thank you father in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah thank you friends this morning for joining us to pray this morning may the lord continue to bless you may the lord continue to cause his good face amen to shine upon you may he give you rest amen from all areas of life may you continue amen to walk in the life and in the favor of god may you prosper through amen this week as you go through your walk whatever you're doing i pray the father will grant you knowledge wisdom clarity and direction god bless you we'll see you again hopefully tomorrow morning god bless you enjoy the rest of your day